afraid to ask for help and not afraid to ask for help, but you just don't trust anybody else. So you just do it yourself because you, of course you can do it all yourself because you built the business. So you know all the systems, all the processes, that's great. But in order to scale it to a higher level, you have to ask for help and trust that help to do what you hired them to do and have a contingency plan, obviously, if it doesn't work, how you're gonna handle that. But asking for help is a big thing with entrepreneurs. Get a drink. Some great iced tea. All right. Um, so entrepreneurs, asking for help is not a weakness. <laughs> it's how you can scale your business. And if you don't believe me, look at someone who scaled their business bigger than yours and look at what they do. All right. The number six, the sixth thing that you entrepreneurs can have as an emotional struggle is really just a, a f they can run into roadblocks and self-sabotage when they have either a fear of success at the next level or a fear of failure at the next level. In other words, they don't really want to, nobody wants to fail, <laughs> obviously, but they don't know what to do a lot of entrepreneurs can struggle when they run into, they're trying to scale their business and a new level means a new devil, right? Means they're going to be all new challenges. It's a whole new game almost. You have to do things maybe a little different than you've done them in the past with your business. And when you get to that new level, it can be super uncomfortable. And a lot of entrepreneurs want to shrink back and just go back to the level that they were at before because it's familiar. The brain loves what's familiar. It doesn't really like change very much because when things are familiar, even things that aren't working, it feels normal because it's, it's, it knows what to expect. So when you're at a new level, you've scaled your business, you're pushing yourself, and now you've reached a place where let's say you were always at multiple six figures and now you're at seven figures in your business and you're looking around it's a whole new atmosphere whole new competitors and yes you're able to do more than what you did before but at this new level you might be feeling like low man on the totem pole where you are like oh wow all these other people are, are big fish in this arena they're doing all these other things and now you have to consider how do you change up your game? How do you change the processes, the systems? Um, and that is the easy part. The difficult part at this point is the mental game. Like Joyce Meyer says, it's, it's, you know, a battlefield of the mind, right? It's all won or lost in the mind. You look at any pro sports star um, or coach and they will tell you that you have to win the game in your mind first before you ever go out on the field or on the court. So I hope this helps you. I hope this resonates with you because um, working on your self-care, your emotional struggles is paramount to taking your business to the next level 